Let's turn now to that situation we've been keeping an eye on about 250 miles above the Earth, but has a direct tie to Northeast Ohio. Astronaut Sonny Williams from Euclid, as well as fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore, have been stranded on the International Space Station for more than two months now. It was originally supposed to be a 10 day test flight for Boeing's spacecraft called Starliner. NASA is still trying to decide how and when to bring them home. NBC senior correspondent Tom Costello has the story. For astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, a new tentative deadline to decide how and when they might be returning back to Earth. With NASA now saying it hopes to decide before the end of the month the best way to get them home. Let's go forward into Starliner. The pair launched into space in June as the first crude test of Boeing Starliner. It was supposed to be a 10 day mission. But helium leaks and problems with Starliner's propulsion system have left the ship and its crew docked at the International Space Station for more than two months. The main issue, those problematic thrusters are needed for a safe re-entry. Our big concern is um, having a successful deorbit burn, making sure that the prop system works just the way it needs to all the way through the deorbit burn. Since docking with the station, NASA and Boeing engineers on the ground have been trying to troubleshoot the problems. The delays show that they are doing their due diligence. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says the risks associated with human space travel can lead to delays and the decision making process can get complicated. The reason that it's so hard is because you're putting people inside of this. You want to make sure you, you get the spaceship back, um, but you sure want to get those that crew back. Part of the new urgency, the space station has two docking ports for U.S. capsules, and both are being used now. One potential scenario would involve sending Starliner back without its crew and leaving two of four seats open on an upcoming SpaceX flight to the station. That mission already pushed back a month to September. So Williams and Wilmore could return with that team, but that would mean keeping them in space until February. We are humans, and this is hard on crew members and their families, and we take that into account. But again, as professional astronauts, they're prepared for this, and they're doing great. It's still just boggles my mind, wow. obviously, that Tom Costello reporting. But just the fact that they may be prepared for, okay, 10 days, Maybe yeah. we'll be up there 10 days. They've already been up there two months, and then now we're talking February. Yeah, so what? it's it's like real-life Gilligan's Island or Apollo 13. Is, is like, this going to be a movie one day? It, I mean, It feels like it is right now. And yeah. it, imagine the families of the astronauts that are there. You say goodbye thinking you'll yeah. see your loved ones in 10 days. Right. And it could be, who knows, it could end up being 10 months. Yeah. I can't imagine the anxiety. Wow. I mean, hopefully they just get home safe. That's it. That's what we're No matter for. when it is.